time. Welcome to my podcast. This is Valerie Hale. Mistakes are your friend. I am indebted to the mistakes which I have made, Dr. Price Pritchett tells us. He is world-renowned for his business teachings and workshops, especially in mergers and acquisitions. However, he is very much renowned also for his individual teachings, especially from the book called You Squared. And this is how he teaches quantum leaps. Mistakes are one of the ways to reach and take a quantum leap. And quantum leaps are what lead to us being U squared. Being U squared means that you have basically multiplied yourself through uncommon goals, uncommon achievements. He teaches this all in his book, U Squared, and then the strategies to take quantum leaps. Why are we so afraid to make mistakes? Well, we get embarrassed. I've been there. We are afraid we're going to be known as a failure. Been there also. We are afraid that we're going to look foolish. Been there too. However, this is just a perception of other people and a perception of ourselves. The reality is that mistakes are important for us to get to the lesson we need to learn and improve ourselves. When I opened my French theme bed and breakfast 15 years ago, the Petit Chateau Inn, I was not 100% ready to open it. Now, I knew nothing about Price Pritchett. I knew nothing about Mary Morrissey or Bob Proctor, but I was a risk taker. When I opened, everything was not perfect. I didn't have all the resources to furnish it the way I wanted because I had already spent $250,000 renovating it. You know, the architectural drawings, the planning board, the zoning board, all of that took every penny I had. Luckily, I was still working in the French wine industry. I did have some cash flow, but a bed and breakfast is a very expensive venture. The first guest came, and the inn is right up the street from the Culinary Institute of America. Very convenient. They were going to dinner there. They had gone to the website and had called and made reservations. And as they walked through my inn, you can feel the disdain. I walk them to their suites, and I definitely get the feeling they are unhappy. I tell them, I'll let you get settled. I'll see you downstairs. We have wine and cheese. They come downstairs within seconds, and they tell me how disappointed they are. The inn is nothing like its photos. I say, I understand. Just open. They're going to Holiday Inn or Ramada Inn, Marriott Inn, whatever. They left. (laughs) The lesson I learned was I called my web designer immediately because what I had done in my worldly travels for work in the French wine industry, I had taken work photos of Spain and Italy and France, and that's what we used on my website. People are coming to the property thinking they're staying in a place in Italy or Spain or France, some kind of villa or chateau. My mistake. So Joanne took down those photos immediately. I had friends come over the next day. We took all kinds of wonderful photos. We made the place look good, and it, it, does, it did look good. Now, I was mortified. I was embarrassed. However, I moved forward. I took all the steps that you're supposed to take in a business to rectify that. And I certainly learned going forward that you portray your business, whether it be online or in a brochure or to people when you're talking about it, you portray your business and yourself exactly as it's supposed to be. 
Again, Price Pritchett says you do not need all the resources. You don't need all the connections. You don't need all the money to begin. Just begin. Some people might have seen that as a, a calamity. However, I, I laugh about it. I laugh about it today, and I kind of laughed about it back then. With Kundalini Yoga, one of the teachers, virtual teachers with whom I study, is Guru Jagat. All this is on my website, shayvalerie.us. Send me an email. I'll help you with more information. She talks about how we allow ourselves to be in situations where calamity rules, whether it's our finances, whether it's what's going on in our mind. And we can do specific kriyas. They're mudras where you put your hands in specific positions. Your index finger is for wisdom. Your middle finger is for challenges. Your ring finger is for energy and vitality. Your pinky finger is for clear mind and communication. When you sit in a kriya and you have your hands in a mudra, this accentuates your faculties. And if you are feeling stuck, when you go on my website and you click on wealth, if you don't know where to begin, there are two master classes there from Bob Proctor and Mary Morrissey. Bob does one called The Science of Getting Rich. Mary does a master class called The Eight Spiritual Secrets to More Abundance. These are free classes. If you are working from home and you have other colleagues who are working from home or you're young adults, college grads, these classes will help you get unstuck. When you combine the teachings of Kundalini Yoga with Mary and Bob and Price Pritchett's teachings, you are going to propel yourself into a whole nother universe which just oozes of success. We're simply not paying attention to all the potential we have. And as Price Pritchett says, we're leaving so much on the table. So practice Kundalini Yoga online. Guru Jagat, also, I took a free class from her for three days. She has for three years now, four years, she has started a business school called Rama Business School. This embraces everything that I talk about and it, it coincides with the other teachings that I talk about with Mary and Bob and Price Pritchett. Do it. Just do it. Wine. There are two trends going on in wine which have been around for a few years. The natural wine movement has certainly been around for several years now, at least, I'm just going to say 10, out in the public. There is a wine bubbly called Petnat, P-E-T-N-A-T. Petla naturel is really the French word for it, which means naturally sparkling. What makes this different from Champagne, well, several things. It's not made in Champagne. It can be made in any region in France. But it's a quick and dirty way to make a sparkling wine. Remember, this is natural, so it's going to have much different flavor profiles and an aroma is going to be different also. The first fermentation, to get a little technical, the first fermentation is just done for a few weeks. They stop the fermentation and then they bottle it. Nothing is added. With champagne, you add a dosage, but here it's all natural. Nothing is added. They begin the second, well, they begin, they continue the first fermentation in that bottle. And it's also put on with a crown with a wire around it because the effervescence is not as strong as it is with champagne. That's a little technical. Sorry about that. With natural wines, when you open them, there is definitely a very funky barnyard aroma going on. This is not for the faint of heart, if you ask me. I don't like natural wines. I like mine squeaky clean and fun and whatever. People like, people say this is a zippy wine. They think it's great with food. And actually, I suggest if you are going to try these wines, and I really believe you should try these wines, have them with your earthier foods. 
anything grilled is good with the natural wine. But I will share with you that when you first have them, you're going to be thrown off a little bit if you've never had a natural wine before. Also, because there, there's nothing in this to preserve it, you absolutely must drink it that day. Lastly, the orange wine is also a natural wine, and it gets its name from the fact that it is in contact with white, white grapes. It's in contact with the skins and the seeds. It can be for a few weeks. It can be for a month. It can be for a year. And the wine is fermented in either concrete or cement tanks. The wine is never going to touch oak because it would absolutely kill it. Again, nothing is added. This is a natural wine. And also, it's going to be funky, and aromatics are going to be very barnyardy. People will say they pick up flavors of white tea and maybe chamomile. I think they're full of it. <laughs> it's barnyardy to me. However, have this with food. It'll go really well with curry. It'll go, again, well with anything that's grilled. You can have them both with your light type of meats. No, a white meat, I don't, I don't, I eat no animal. I'm a vegetarian. But they're both, they're both worth trying. Liquorama in Hyde Park, New York, has an amazing orange wine at a, in a liter for like $16, and it's called Gulp Ablo. I just love that, Gulp. It is around $16. It's made in Spain. It's probably going to be delicious if you like natural wines. To wrap this up, yes, mistakes. Don't be afraid. Get off the high board. Dive head first. Don't jump in. Do a belly flop. <laughs> it's really important to start where you are. My website with wealth has two master classes. If you don't have the energy to get unstuck, if you have young adults at home, college grads, let them learn from these two master classes. Website is shayvalerie.us. Everything is on my podcast details. Kundalini Yoga is very, very powerful, and I suggest that you look at Guru Jagat's classes, especially her Rama Business School. It's very cool. It's very unusual to see a Kundalini teacher impart knowledge the way she is doing with this school. Of course, orange wine and the Petala Naturel, this is really the time to try them because they are a lighter style wine. They're not heavy wines. Fun food wines. And in conclusion, I'm not a life coach. I'm not a consultant. I do this podcast in order to help hundreds of people every week. Merci et au revoir.